Welcome to this week's NFL's Way to Play Performance Series. And on this episode, we are hot. We are highlighting the NFL's most dominant and fearsome defense. Look, let me tell you something. Hide the kids. Lock your doors because we got to get ready to play some football because Aaron Donald is coming. Let's talk football. Aaron Donald is a ball player. When it comes to shedding blocks, he's really good at it. We see him disengage, make plays all over the field. But we're missing kind of the most important part is how he's dealing with pressure to pressure before he disengages that block and makes a play. Maybe with a rip move or a swim move or just throwing them, he has to deal with that contact. And that's what I'm talking about when I say pressure to pressure. He needs posture, he needs good footwork, but also he needs a good angle to deal with that contact and neutralize it or overcome it to make the play. And we got a drill that we're gonna do for you today. To get better at shedding the block, we're gonna focus on a football drill here. And we have a band. Now what we're gonna do is double loop it really quick. Okay, and we're gonna come over to a wall. Now when we get on this wall, what we need to focus on is good posture, good angle, and a good solid base at the feet. As you can see, he's got a nice angle where he's leaning into the wall, right? Spine is stacked, feet are stable. Now, wherever this offensive line athlete is applying pressure or wherever the ball is going, more likely the offensive line athlete will be going there. He's gonna, if he's going to the right, he's gonna drop from the left. If the ball's going to the left, he's gonna drop from the right. Now, this time, try to make it a little more dynamic and drive now. Ready, go. Good. And as you can see, his feet aren't coming together. If he tries to go to the left and pick up that left leg, that band is gonna clip his feet together. Now you can get tipped over, and now that's not what we want. So we don't want the feet to be kind of touching. We wanna be kind of staying in a stable position as they're moving left to right. Now, how does that look? We're gonna give you a little demo. Say I'm the opposite line athlete, he's the defender. What he's gonna do is maintain that base and that posture. And as I come at him, Good, he drives with his right to go left, disengages with the block. That's how you try to really deal with that pressure to pressure in movement before you disengage and make the play. When you look at Aaron Donald's ability to shed blocks, it's easy to notice his feet and how quick he is at flipping his hips. But one thing that you can't overlook is how he uses his arms to press and then pull himself around offensive linemen without just having to run straight through him. A lot of times he catches people guessing, leaning, and he's able to control his body with so much strength and control. And that involves a lot of shoulder stability and core strength. So one movement that you can introduce in your training to build that shoulder stability and core strength is a thread the needle. It's a variation of a push up and a plank, but it involves us to reach to the sky with the arms in between each rep. So we're gonna reach up in the air and then we're gonna thread underneath. And this is really challenging us to rotate at the shoulder and brace at the core. We're gonna do another rep here. As you notice, Brian's arm is getting long on the way up and then it's getting, he's pulling himself through on the way under. This is similar to how Aaron Donald sheds blocks where he takes his inside arm and pulls himself through the outside shoulder of the offensive line athlete. So when you're doing this movement, you're building strength in the shoulder, which is great. You're building mobility in the shoulder, which is great, but you're building the same exact movement that Aaron Donald uses on the field. Aaron Donald has become one of the most feared and respected men in the National Football League, and rightfully so. There's so much he does right. He can pass rush, he can play the double team, he can play the run, he can make highlight reels that are normal games, he can do things that no one else can do. One of the things that really makes him difficult to play against is his ability to shed blocks. One of the drills we really love to use to kind of emulate things you might see Aaron Donald doing on the field, remember, there's only one Aaron Donald, but when we talk about his ability to absorb forces from offensive line athletes, shed blocks, and change the direction and go make tackles downfield or down the line of scrimmage, this is one of our favorites. So we're gonna take med balls. Med ball is a great way to just get you know, emulate things we kind of see on the field that you can't get with traditional weight room. We want to do the weight room stuff, but we love med balls. So I'm going to take CJ here. These are 10 pound med balls. I want CJ with a narrow base and stand up on his tiptoes. And all I want CJ, I'm going to get out of his way right here. I want CJ to throw that ball to the left side without dropping it. And then he's going to change direction. So he's absorbing force and sprint down this line. So go ahead. Good. So he'll hurry back here. Not really, this is something you would kind of walk back to, take about 40 seconds in between, like you would see Aaron Donald in between plays. So this time I really want you to kind of throw this ball 
to this, this side of you. Don't let go. And what we're emulating is like, say he, Aaron Donald, or in this case, CJ is getting blocked. He's absorbing that force and he's gonna shed the block and he's gonna run down the line. We're using this ball to kind of propel us, but also give context that for him to run and accelerate down this line, he's gonna have to move his torso simultaneously as putting force to the ground with that right leg. So he's pushing off the ground this way and rotating that torso. The med ball is gonna propel him, but we're also using muscles to do so. So I want you to really get a, a like an O-lineman's really hitting you hard and get down the line. You see this all the time on cutback plays, on inside zone, outside zone. You get hit, you have to plant. Remember, Aaron Donald can see the running back. Offensive line athletes cannot see the running back. So he's absorbing that force, getting down the line, and he's making tackles. Now we're gonna take everything you just learned from the performance side, and we're gonna put it into action on the football field. Hands down, Aaron Donald is a special, unique, and scary football player. But what makes him so scary and unique is the fact that he's able to get off of blocks. We're gonna teach you how to build the core strength, more so the rotation, and then the flip that you see on a football field. So Brian is going to emulate the movement of him chopping or pulling an offensive lineman and then flipping the hips. So you're gonna get some strength and a little bit of skill combined. Here we go, B. Boom. So imagine, as you can see on film, he's ripping through that shoulder, pulling himself through, flipping those hips, and getting back up the football field. Good. This movement here is going to build some core strength, upper body, and combine all of it and teach you how to flip your hips like Aaron. But here's the question I have for you, B. Okay. Great. Okay. He can flip his hips and he can do all these wonderful things. Why is that so important for defense alignment? Well, for a few reasons. A lot of times you'll see young defensive linemen, they end up square in the middle of the chest, or even if they do work to an edge, they'll work their hands, but they never get by. So if I work my hands and I'm working to get by it, but I stay square, you can ride me all the way past the quarterback. The idea is here is, if I can get this shoulder turned, pulled down, whether I'm chopping, whatever it is, but then get my hips to flip by you, and it happens so very fast. But if I can get you turned and I can get myself hip to hip, you don't stand a chance, no matter how good you are. In my perfect world, you stay square and you keep trying to fight my pressure and it just gives me just enough time to get you where I want to get you. Right. And in your perfect world, you now then use that almost against me yeah. and now take me I want to get you away. going away from me as fast as I can and the idea to get hip to hip. If I can get hip to hip, I'm gone. Explain the hip to hip. So if I get stuck here, I still haven't beaten you. I'm lost, I've lost. Cause you can recover and you can push me away. Right. But if I can somehow get hip to hip, almost like a receiver, with a receiver, if I'm even, I'm leaving, mm -hmm. same idea. If I'm even, I can get by I'm beat. and get to the quarterback or the running back. So you do think this is a good drill to build that skill? I think it's awesome. Cause it combines everything. It combines the rip down and not only the core action, but your, your feet having to turn and get in position, and then you have to work back. You just heard it from the team, how to become your best version of Aaron Donald. But this is not overnight, it takes time. Aaron Donald did not become the player that he is overnight, and neither will you. So let's get to work and go play some football.